They have left you behind. Photo? Not be juju be that. I sorry you, sorry you. May God not allow them, may them kill you. Amen. So as you are watching this video, some people are camping in Abuja every day now. They're going to stay there defending the mandates until Tifnumbu is sworn in. And guess what? Like you and me, they haven't seen Tinumbu for the past one week. Nobody's nobody seen him. And that is why the APC, Egbe Kegbe, Lagos Nibadon, media, they are now working over time on the level of propaganda. Eh? We are back in the era when you they will be saying, uh, Is your president alive? I be your president is dead. Iwama Dirao. Pastor, Oko, Oko, Lapa, Onsho, 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 Pastor. Awa Mojo, Stick, Stick, and Onsho, Wa. I say, Koli, Koli, Oli, Wati, Buru. Iwama Dirao, Di Pak, Pahal, Anoni. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Eh? Is there something wrong with him? Is that you back into President DLC? Sure, you remember there is difference between president, I mean president, eh, and presidency. Presidiot and presidiot. Now, for presidiot and vice presidiot, you have a uh, the lifeless money queen, eh? The uh, artless, illiterate may guard, Mumumadu, Bokuari, and his deputy, distinguished, dishonorable, fake pastor Ruga, Ikene Shatabandu, eh? Agbowori Baba Oja, the one we know as a special advisor to Bokuari on condolences visits, barrier arrangements, and trader money, also market money. That's Pastor Ruga, that's president and vice president. But for most part of a Bokuari's time, you don't hear much from the president. All you have to wait for is the Presid DOC. Now, the Presid DOC, that one is they have the Presid DOC. I mean, sorry, uh, sorry, yeah, the Presid DOC and Vice Presid DOC. The Presid DOC is garbage, shewu. the one that Shewure love to call uh, garbage is you know, garbage, shewu. that one is the Presid DOC. The Vice is Femi Okonu Adeshino. Femi Opo, no Adeshino, the two CME uh, twins. They address Nigerians. They respond to anybody. They attack anybody, pastor, uh, anybody. Oh. We talk any out of Bokuari. They will say, you are mad. Obasanjo is mad. Presidiosi. That is Gabi Shewu and Femi Opo, no Adeshino, reacting. When Bokuari say anything, it will tell you, I am not aware. I am in shock. He's not aware. Eh? What is a uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Afusok. Afusok is not aware. Anyway, you are back in that era. Where is Kolu? Shut up your mouth. You this my ego enemy of it. What is your problem with Kolu? What is your problem? I say, but Kolu, Kolu. Bok I mean, Bokwari that destroyed and ruined Nigeria. A lot of us, eh? We have no business with him. But what he did with Nigeria, a lot of us here watching this clip today, we are victims of the consequences of what you are doing in Nigeria, even when we are not there. You know that. Now you are back in that era. Hey, Tif Nubu, they said Tif Nubu don't die, yo. He will never die in Jesus' name. God, Heavenly Father, we want you to, to strengthen the blood, the, 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 the vein, the bone 
of a uh, uh, kolu, his tongue, his everything. We want you to heal him. Don't be so that they heal people. They say he's in France. If he's not there, he'll be in London. Now, doctors, they take care of him there. Not your prayer, your useless, nonsensical, hypocritical prayer. You are praying for criminals that are spending your money to access the best medical care elsewhere. Boy, your hypocrit hypocritical mind and your slavish mind can easily tell you, right? There is nothing wrong. Let's just pray for him. Pray for him to come back and do good for you. Where is he? Where is he? Nobody knows. So what do you think they want you to talk about? Now, in that court case, so it's not even just about the election and all of that. It's like somebody, somebody caught in a path to send Kalu to jail. Imagine somebody that wanted to go to Asso Rock and they ended up having to one cough him. They cough him and they send him to jail. In that age, imagine that happening. So you, you, what happens is that, is that Obi triggered them. So they need to put the people under the siege and point at people they are people they want them to attack while they continue to hibernate like nobody will ask or nobody will notice. I'm waiting for them to take him to Mekau without old video because you begin to see some fake, fake old videos now. Like Buari time, you won't see Tinumbu. And if you see him now two seconds or four seconds or 11 seconds, eh? If you see Tinumbu video over one minute, eh? Ah! No be him or Naib saying go to sleep there where they talk about him like, Sure you get because medically, medically, eh, if they allow Tifnumbu to show himself to all of you, along all of you will gather stone and chase the criminals that told you that he was local. Again, for those who know better, hmm, people will never stop talking about him. Oh. It's like somebody who is a wanted criminal. Eh, who has hibernated for so long, they suddenly just showed up. That's exactly what Ifnubu have done to himself. So that is why they are now using that siege mentality that we know we can, we can, you know, they said they did the election, we defeated them. You know, you didn't defeat them. You robbed them, and it's obvious, documented, okay? And you told them to go to court. But somehow, somehow, eh? That court is going to now attract international media for real. Omo, everything where you don't know about Tifnumu, everything you think you know about Tifnumu before, eh? Omo, Ajengbo, you don't know anything about Tifnumu yet. That is why... Let him hide, let him play hide and seek, eh? And the May 29, let him surface, okay? And let them do the swearing in for him and let him disappear. Omo. Now then you go notif numbu. Now the people where you think say no no what is what is going on in Nigeria, they will now tell you about him proper, proper. Oh, boy, you ba, eh? Even though you won't care, it won't change anything you said, Abby. <laughs> Here is the problem. What if eventually something happened that said uh, they are not the election or they couldn't beat them in court? Oh, okay, let's say they beat them in court. And this guy still says, no, he's rigged. The judiciary is a thief. All of them be thief. We know, say, you go, you go cheat us. And they, you know what I mean? So finally, the obedience would have uh, completed their full circle education about Nigeria politics, which goes beyond, I want to be this. I am intelligent. I am uh, capable. I am blah, 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 blah. It's more than that. A lot of you are learning a lot now, aren't you? Eh? So when they finally rob you at their Supreme Court, sure you get, which they are going to do. I'm sorry that, I, I, I mean, I don't like being blunt uh, that way, but I've always loved to be blunt, okay? They're going to rob you. There's nothing coming out of that court. Nothing. Sure you get. And if you think, if they know that uh, they are going to rob you in that court as well, why are they doing all of this then? I'll tell you. They know that you are not going to accept uh, a court verdict. Are you with me? 
You see, the same way the obedient exposed Ainekyo, every, everyone know, the political party, oh, party delegates, oh, uh, this and that, oh, the same way you expose them, the same way you expose the election fraud like never seen before. Now, so you go expose the judiciary. And guess what? <sighs> ah, Nigeria to finish. That one, know they tell before we talk. Um, when, some, when some truth hits you, you begin to say, ah, 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 oh, Nigeria is finished. Say, hey, why? Ah, look at uh, my ego. Ah, look at this. This country is gone. Hey, tell me more about it. What, what do you mean tell you more? Are you blind? Are you blind, Dini? Can't you see that this country can never be working? I say, hey, ah, okay. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Sorry, eh? What about your PVC? PVC Oshiwo. PVC Werewo. I've cut the old the nonsense off. Ah, you shouldn't have. My ego, I beg, eh? No provoke me, oh. This country can never say, hey, uh, Papa, you haven't finished learning. There is still more to learn. And as this others to show to you that, uh, hey, it's going to go beyond election to get rid of these guys. It's going to actually take more than election. So that's their worry. They know you're not going to accept. You're going to say the judiciary is indeed corrupt. Eh? Same way I told you that, uh, I know it's good to try, oh, but uh, I neck, about it will let you confidence, you know. No, sorry, eh? Like, where did you get that kind of confidence from? That trust that INEC of Nigeria is going to conduct a election, it's going to conduct free and fair election. Like, I, I don't know, as in, I just, I, I don't know. A lot of you actually felt that they were going to. Now you're so angry, so angry with them. I hate them. I hate this country. I hate Yakubu. He wasted my time. They killed my friend. They attacked my friend. Oh, you know what they did? I traveled down to Nigeria. I risked my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, bro. Sorry, ma. Sorry. But you haven't seen anything. This is just the beginning. Okay? Nigeria has a way of making you regret even giving it a chance. And that's why I said, that's why I said, if Nigeria break up, it's not because you, are, you didn't try. A lot of people who don't believe in Nigeria anymore today, they were once like you. I was once like you. I was pretty much like optimistic, enthusiastic. I was, you know, I had so much dreams about what Nigeria should be like until Nigeria happened to me. And I realized that, eh? Well, you know the story. And here we are, watching them do the same thing to millions of other people. And we can't even look away. Now we can't look away. So whatever you have seen so far, I have seen some of you. Uh, Mayegun, I know judiciary is very corrupt. But I, I'm very sure that uh, they will still do the right thing to save Nigeria. We Eh? She ain't shireni. Mama shireni now. Maybe everything will take play. I like, I said, maintain that expectation, okay? We are talking about Nigeria here. Every writing this criminal, every writing they do, a mistake. I know they take time before they correct it. Some of you don't know. Declaring Tinumbu winner eh, is as good as eh, he's been declared president already. They will do anything, including if they have to burn down the entire Nigeria to have him inaugurated. I'm not joking. That's what will happen. But you will need to conserve your energy because the real battle mm, is actually going to start where you now realize that uh, it is so wrong to gamble on anything Nigeria. Now you go loose until the day you no longer have to follow the rules that they make. Mm -hmm. That's how you begin, you begin to actually force their hands. So the real battle is ahead and they are worried. So what do they need? Look at it. A lot of you are gathering in Abuja, Port Harcourt, everywhere. Asking that INEC chairman should be arrested. He's conducted, they he, he disenfranchised you. They did this to you. They did that to you. And all of that. You are everywhere. You are just, uh, you see, if Peter Big wake up tomorrow and say, well, all of you Nigerians, I think uh, it is now in your hands. I encourage you to stand up and then, uh, you know, fight this and go on the street. Oh, my, eh? They have to take him away from that country right away. Sure, you get it's like Ara or a bomb blower. 
Sure, you know what is Ara? Thunder. Thunder. Make you mix, mix thunder to strong. Mix some with bomb. Imagine the sound. Sure, you get. But he hasn't done that. A lot of you are already going out every day, protesting this and that. And they are telling their supporters that, see you, they want to annul the election. No? They want to bring in a coup. They want to bring in interim government. No? And they are throwing everything. Just where anything that can stick. Something should stick. This book cannot be sent. This, these people, eh? Just keep throwing it. Keep throwing anything you can get. Anything. Oh, he said religious. This is religious war. Hey, religious war. Religious. He said religious war. Hey, help us. Oh, Obi is bringing religious war to Nigeria. Help us. Oh, help us. They started crying, pretending that they have actually not started the war themselves. That the war they ignited is not the reason why they are actually so agitated. After winning, you, know, you won election. Eh? And. Kusi PC for the weekend. D. Let's go back to that Abuja. They said they will be out there. Eh? Until the day Kolu is inaugurated. Imagine that kind of punishment. Only for you to end up being duped, scammed, eh? And looted. Like Bokwari. What a waste of life. Abuja. This time around, we say no to any call for interim government. We say no to any end of democracy in Nigeria. Because as emerging leaders, the, 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 the next generation of this uh, country of ours, Nigeria, is hoping on us. So we are doing everything possible today to call people like our senior brother, Dino Milaye, to stop sponsoring women on the streets, going, wearing, wear, um, uh, you know, protesting nude. Dino Milaye is a senior comrade that most of us respect. But getting um, this um, knowledge of him, sponsoring some women, going nude in protest please he should stop for it nobody has the monopoly of street kawakawa we should not push us into invoking our aluta wizard because um, it will not be good for any of us we want nigeria to remain peaceful we want the democracy that we are enjoying today to continue and we want nigeria to remain calm and safe anybody who feels that his rights have been trampled upon should seek for judicial redress but enough of these street protests and campaigns defacing the name of Nigeria. The international communities are watching, and we, as the major leaders of this country, we no longer want anybody in this country to find any form of amber of this court or this unity anymore. Because any attempt or attempted attempt fought with, we are going to invoke Aluta Wizardry or whosoever that is involved. And Nigerian youth have, who have, who have agreed today that we want Nigerian democracy to continue. And we want every Nigerian to be law abiding. And Nigerians should please, as a matter of fact and urgency, make sure that democracy is being sustained in this country. We want to call on the security agencies of this country. They should please, they should please stop approving letters of protest in this country. The IGO police and the CP of FCT should stop forthwith. Any form of approval of any protest against government should stop forthwith. Because People are already planning on how to spoil the democracy we are already enjoying. We are warning people like Dino Melaye and Co. should stop sponsoring women. Letters of protest in this country. The IGO police and the CP of FCT should stop forthwith. Any form of approval of any protest against government should stop forthwith. Because people are already planning on how to spoil the democracy we are already enjoying. We are warning people like Dino Melaye and Co. She stop sponsoring women in protesting nude. Going around exhibiting all forms of nudity in this country, it should stop. Our mothers should stop. Any of such moves again, like I said earlier, we will go haywire on such acts. We no longer want any nude protests. We no longer go. I don't want to call anybody then. Go. I don't want to call anybody then. Did you get that? In a democracy, oh, some hired street urchins, unemployed youth, people that they deliberately made poor that way, where they choose to be in that position themselves anyway. They wanted government, I mean, they wanted authority to stop issuing or approving protest, uh, uh, what do you call it, protest approval for people again. You cannot protest against the government. If you do that, eh? 
Now, while are you to look for? Imagine. That's the future, isn't it? Then the moment they finish that, and all of that, everybody is done. Okay, oh yeah, Baba. Yes, sir. Come. What happened? Oh, one call. What about our money? Which one is what happened? Yesterday, they said that uh, you will pay us today. Now, we work yesterday. We work today. Uh, and you're about to go. Where is our money? Oh, yeah. Catch me if you can. The, the, the first uh, 10 people that catch me will get paid. Oh, yeah. Are You get eh? Ogbeni wo wada. When he give him his cap now, ah, uh -uh, she he put money for cap on it. Somebody we just fought and got five hundred naira from the money they are supposed to peacefully give to them. That is the democracy they are enjoying in Nigeria. Eh, obedient. This is for you. Double B. <laughs> Number one. Unstoppable. The statement maker. It's maker. The unbeatable. Double B. Because this is why I gave you that. You see those people they are paying money to every day. They expect the number to increase and increase. And very soon they will start attacking all of you, organizing your own uh, protest in Abuja. And that is groundwork for what they can now use to say you have been provoking people. See, oh, they lost election. We told them to go to court. Meanwhile, the reason why they are afraid is because of that, your court. They told you to go to court. But they are more concerned about what the international community is going to say or continue to say about Kolu. Eh? If he's sworn in. Eh? Imagine, oh, President Kolu going to America eh, to visit America. And the entire media is now sort of uh, is buzzing. Should they go arrest him? What if they arrest him? Okay, are they going to subject their plane to very critical search for cocaine, drug, money, anything? Eh? What about those around him who also have criminal records, internationally and locally, that are also going to be, you know, how is it going to be like? Now, this guy is now going to bring uh, witnesses to election tribunal about my drug and every other thing in the past. Now, it's not going to stop at the tribunal, okay? Because according to them, all over the world right now, with this obedient, oh, they have made the world see Tifnumbu as a, a very, very dangerous drug baron that is so powerful that he captured the country of 200 million people. Ah, which can you Pablo Escobar be this? Eh? So the whole world actually want to see what that feels like, what that looks like. But guess what? If no people, if no people don't like that one, sure you get. They wanted the world to see somebody who fought for democracy, eh? And after thirty years, is now enjoying and benefiting democracy by becoming the democratically elected president. But he is not elected. He stole it. 
with violence, rigging, and manipulation. Now, all this image, they are not good. For somebody who probably felt like this is the pinnacle of his career, okay, he doesn't want to go to the he doesn't want to go to the world uh, uh, leadership uh, leaders meeting or something. And they begin to look at him like, uh, sorry, is it true that you are a drug? Uh, you know, is that true that you are a, this drug? Uh, oh, is it true that you've been like a drug this or that? Uh, excuse me, is it, is it true that America is considering to turn, I mean, to uh, uh, sort of a call Nigeria in Narco State? You know, conversation around this, they are very embarrassing. Only deaf and dumb or half dead like Bokuari, who only, sli who only smile and laugh uh, sheepishly, whether it's funny or not. It was in London. David Cameron, in front of the Queen, said, uh, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, this is the president of Nigeria, a fantastically corrupt country. They are so corrupt that uh, the money they steal in Nigeria in a year, if half of that is stolen from the UK, with that same brazen, uh, you know, uh, I don't care, Nizim, right? I don't care, Nizim. Well, UK will go bankrupt. That's what David Cameron said. Nigeria is fantastically corrupt. Hey, Bokwari, come here. Come here. How are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Th 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 thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is it true that Nigeria is uh, fantastically corrupt? Yes. Yes, it's true. And that is why we are asking the government of the UK eh, to, to return all the stolen money to us. Or UK didn't return all the money yet before the criminals eh, uh, went a while. Let me see. Is this this? Video? Talk about uh, thieves at the last minute uh, cash out. As you are busy arguing, what do the uh, Obi say? Uh, what was that call? Is it religious, this or that? The criminals are cashing out. Do you know that uh, the Nigerian uh, government? With a man called Adis Rika in charge of Nigeria Aviation Ministry, the same guy that duped Nigeria two times, promising them he was going to give them uh, a national career. The first one was them uh, I mean, designing a logo, a logo, logo of a ribbon, eh? a ribbon, and then uh, what have you? And they call it Nigeria Air logo. It cost Nigeria over 400 million naira. Do you know where they designed it? Bahrain. They consulted with a graphic designer in Bahrain to help them design a logo for 400 million naira, and they brought it to London. London Air Show. They say, hey, Nigeria is going to have the aircraft soon. Alaya, come. How much this whole thing cost? And when are the aircraft coming? For now, for now, okay? This whole thing cost us a 14 billion naira to launch Nigeria Air. Where are the aircraft? They are coming. We are still, we are still talking with them. Why are you asking about the aircraft? Just, just be happy. Nigeria is going to have a, a airline soon. They're just going to have a national career. I mean, that's that's what matters. Eh, we are asking. If it's already cost you 14 billion, eh, where are the aircraft? You see, this Mayego is enemy of progress. You don't see anything good in Nigeria. Eh? They, they, I mean, let's 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 pray for them. Okay. I mean, they are the one. Are you the one who, who told them that Nigeria should have a airline in it? They did, they think they, they thought about it and they decided to do it. Did you not see them in London? Did you not see Oyibo clapping for them when they told everybody what the Nigeria here will look like? Ogbeni, story low. So, where are the aircraft? When I ask, 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 when they couldn't answer me anymore, they ignored me. So, he go for story. Until when I woke up today, the man who, the, who designed logo, Nigeria here, under Bokwari, they spent over 21 billion naira on. We are bringing aircraft, Nigeria Air. The same guy today, Omo, I need Mubangba. Wow, wow, wow,
Abel alone. Can't you see God? Or can you see God? Can't you hear him? Can't you hear wow, 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 of 1.2 billion era fire truck? Key. The man came again, you know, this time around, 12 billion. Query. Um, they used 12 billion era to buy fire trucks, 10 fire trucks for Nigeria airports. Now, so the guy called it Cruz, Nigeria Prince. Last minute cash out. Um, how could you buy 10, 10 uh, fire truck? Key? For 12 billion naira, and you post that online and you said we should be doing wow, 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 like ambulance. 1.2 billion dollars. I mean billion naira. 1.2 billion naira for fire truck. Eh, the bear alone. Eh, can't you fear God? I'm just saying, anyway, that's just on the side. But there's something that could warm your uh, your mind. I mean your heart, okay. It's been all talk, okay. Again, conserve your, I mean. Preserve your energy, conserve your energy, save them. Don't get, uh, don't fill them with all this. Even though we know that the day of the battle is actually ahead. Maybe this will warm up your hearts, okay? The man they love to hate. His life is like an open book. These two. I want, I want sip tea. Are they come? See, normal, normal, eh? In Nigeria, that is not a moment of oh, no, no, no. Some of you are doing. Listen, I won't be surprised, right? If uh, half of those who are watching me right now actually east when that video came out. Well, my Egun, I better show something better, Jerry. This one is politician showing off. You know why? They no raise us with happiness. Nigeria. People no get joy. Are you with me? It's natural. It's not a oh no, 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 no. We know they do that here. We don't do that here. Compassion, empathy from politicians. Eh? After election. Oh, Benny, we know they do that one here. So Nigeria is not a place where they do oh and all that. But when you see things like this, they just laugh at it. You know, Abu Sirika is unable to give you plane. Abi, but he gave you fire truck for your airport. Eh? That cost 1.2 billion each. Ten of them. Let me tell you another mind-blowing one. Have you have you ever seen? Listen to this. Oh. They say in the world, by world standard, mm, to build uh, a kilometer of uh, train, you know, want to build a kilometer of rail line, eh? So they shall do the calculation, do the calculation, yeah? And they said each kilometer, right, uh, will cost something, I mean, somewhere around, uh, not kilometer per se, I think uh, tons. Each ton of something, something. See, that's the problem now. Uh, engineers will be looking at me like, uh, I think I know what he's about to say, but he's confused. Yes, I am. But I'll try. Don't worry. So what happened is this. When they pick, bring, bring, I mean, bring, I mean, sorry, building a rail line, right? You break it into part, okay? So they now said, for because of the amount of uh, steel and concrete and everything that goes into it, eh, it will cost about $2.4 million dollars. 
global standard price oh, to build one kilometer, one kilometer of rail. So if you now want to build 100, just multiply it by two two point four million dollars. Then what do you get? Eh? $240 million, Abby. For example, if you want to build 10 kilometers, that's 2.4 million times uh, 10. Mm? And that's 24 million. No, it's actually 20, 24. No, 100 kilometers. Okay, 240. <laughs> but in Nigeria, mm, I will show you a metro or uh rail line it's called red line and blue line and each kilometer on the line costs 37.5 million dollars now for the kilometers they have done by normal standard estimate uh in global estimate right the global pricing right for every for all the stretch they have done the budget itself is actually one point, I mean, sorry, 150 million dollars, not 100 kilometers, so just about 14, 15 kilometers, so 150 million dollars, so that was the budget. One of the reasons why Ambode was shown the door was because how could the train project that was supposed to be 150 million dollars, how did that turn to 2.5 billion dollars? Ha! 2.5 billion dollars to build the overhead rail. Do you know how many of those you can build? That you can begin to, to build them over one another. And then, you know, once one train is coming, one uh, metro train is coming from a Paja, you go face the one coming from Osho, you go be like, say, one, you know, you go be like, say, two snake, one meat. Ah, you, say, yeah! you know, it's a design. You're going to go over, they're going to go under. You know, that kind of uh, engineering marvel. Two point something billion dollars. That's what they have they've used to build the uh, Lagos Rail. Unfortunately, Mm. We still have to push it like more do it. Yeah, now push the push up. This is our leg also. Now the more low rate way. They said they don't commission. Maybe this. Nigeria. We can never have it right. See Did they push more low for up? So that's all the train they go for road. The zone all lights go finish. So I can't push up like this. My well, guy, this country now zero. Dead on arrival. Zero, bro. I know. Metro Abimonoreli. Electricity finished. This is supposed to be running on electricity. Yo. Independent power supply. When they commissioned it, it's like he has his own 24 hours power. No diesel, no petrol. No diesel, no petrol. Okay? Electricity. Hey, now maintenance be the problem. They say hey, people with these people will maintain. They will they be able to maintain this? My friend, shut up. Ooh. Let's just let's let 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 let's just enjoy good thing now. Why do you have to always say a hey, maintenance, maintenance? Or more from experience, oh they are hear me since them bomb me. Ah, Ogunbo, eh? Me worry bit what in the train here. Electric train. See, I now push the push up. This now leg also. Now the Molo Railway, they said they don't commission. Maybe this. Nigeria. We can never have it right. See Did they push Molo Railway for up? So that's all the train they go for road. The Zola lights go finish. So I can't push out like this. My well, guy, this country now zero. Dead on arrival. Bro. So. Pray for Nigeria <laughs> and a prayer warrior, but do not deny the obvious. Here you get because in denying what is truth, then you are actually opening up space for propaganda lies to be fed into you. Then, whatever they want you to do after, what do you do? I wish I could take calls with you. I mean, from some of you tonight, I want you to go to bed and you know, think about everything I shared tonight, okay? And hopefully, I would have saved one soul from the APC, Egbe Kegbe, hmm? All propaganda confused party. Maybe I would have saved you from them. 
Apart from that, as we monitor all of their propaganda up left and right, uh, we know where the whole thing is going to end. Violence, chaos, but they will point fingers at those they are actually attacking. Defend yourself when you have to. So for us, in, uh, on Mayogun's diary, political, for those who know very well that uh, we don't just uh, uh, sort of a uh, talk, we also uh, reach out uh, to people who are the victims of uh, the Nigeria politicians and their, and their likes. So on Mayogun's diary, political, uh, coming uh, in April, we are bringing back uh, the second version of our family support uh, program, which is our own way of reaching out uh, to our vulnerable Yorubas in Yoruba land. We meet with them in their different communities. We sit with them and we kind of uh, chat them up in a way that uh, uh, a relative way where we uh, hope to meet them at their point of need. We've been doing it and we'll do it again. So we're going to launch that uh, any moment from now. And when that uh, happens, right, uh, the uh, members of the union who are also part of this are also going to come up to share their momentum with you and how this is going to go. So for everyone, where is that again? Uh, let me see. For I mean, to everyone who probably want to... Um, Insertate yourself into what we are up to, right? Uh, you can, uh, I don't know, you can be part of this once we launch it, okay? So uh, once again, I want to say thank you to all of you, everyone. So to all the donors on Mayegun's Diary Political, I am giving you this uh, advance uh, uh, request that uh, you should keep your checkbooks, your cards, keep them close. We are about to go on evangelism again. We are actually about to meet the real victims of a failed leadership, especially in Yoruba land. Play your part. Remember, it is a thankless job. Nobody's going to say thank you to you. They will even abuse you. But when it's done, there's a special smile. You know, there's this special feeling that you get that uh, wherever it is, however it is, we are touching lives. We're just talking about them. So I'll leave you to it. Uh, to everybody who is still there watching, right? We are over 3,000 of us, uh, by the way. Please take a moment before you leave, okay? Like this broadcast. If you enjoy me tonight, yeah, I bet you will probably don't want to miss another one, right? So if you are just joining us as well, uh, you need to watch this all over again. Remember, you can skip all the intro, skip all the song, skip all the bula ba, ba la bulu, and every other thing that I actually say from the beginning. They are the normal ritual in the temple. Eh? getting everybody ready. Then go straight into the real thing. I'll see you some other time. Stay safe, eh? and be the watchful, Daryl. Don't live without liking that broadcast. Like it, and then good night. Go!
ni ba ti se yi to ye ki won se omo padero o ni fi won ni ran